Now that's a lot of damage! Losing your data is awful. Hello, welcome to Drowsy Fox. Today we're going to learn how to avoid losing your data by installing Git and setting it up to work with your Unity project. Git is a free and open source version control system. It will help us keep track of our code changes and also give us the ability to recover back to a stable commit, assuming we created one. We'll start off by setting up our environment, followed by some usage examples. Pay attention because we're going to breeze right through this. Before we get started, I want to mention our new open beta for Break Orbit. Join our Discord for more information. Alright, the first step is making a Unity project, unless you already have one. I'm going to call this one, my awesome RPG, and save it to my Unity projects folder under YouTube. Make sure you remember where you saved your project. Now that we have a project, let's open it and modify some settings so it's ready to be used with Git. Go to Edit, Project Settings, select Editor in the new window and make sure Forced Text is selected under Asset Serialization. Go to Version Control and make sure it is set to Visible Meta Files. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and change the company name to Drowsy Fox. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get started with Git. We'll need a GitHub account and a Git client. Sign up at github.com if you don't already have an account. For the client, we'll use GitHub Desktop. Go ahead and download it. Follow the installer and sign in when prompted. There should be a link in the description. Now let's set up our repo locally through the client. Go to add, add existing repository and select your Unity project. In my case, it's my awesome RPG. You should be prompted to create a repository. Go ahead and click that. Fill in the project description. Add a readme to the project. For git ignore, select Unity. For the license, I'm going to pick MIT, but you should read up on this and select the one that's right for you. That's it, we're ready to create a repository. If you're prompted to initialize LFS, go ahead and allow it. It stands for git large file storage. All right. Git will automatically create your initial commit and you can check it out in the history tab. Now that we have our local git repo set up, we can go ahead and publish it. This will create a backup of your progress. Click Publish Repository up on top. For the first publish, you'll need to fill in a quick form. I'll go ahead and unselect the private repo option. For organization, I'll pick Drowsy Fox. You can keep it none. Lastly, click Publish and your code will be sent to GitHub. Click View in GitHub to open the website and check out your repository. All right, now we're gonna make a few changes to our scene. I'm gonna add a cube. I'm gonna change its scale and save the project. As you can see, all of my changes have been stored into the sample scene in Unity. I'm going to add a summary to my changes, commit to main, and then I'm going to push origin. That's going to push my changes up to the main branch. Now if we go back to our website and refresh, you can see that our changes are there as well. You can check out your commit history by clicking here. That is it. We are done setting up Git and setting up our project for Git. Next, I'm going to show you a few scenarios where this might be useful. Okay, now we're going to pretend that something happened and my cube got erased. If we go back to the GitHub client, you can see that the changes are recorded there. All you have to do is right click and discard changes. Now, if we go back and reload our project, you'll see that the cube is back into the scene. Now, let's pretend that the project got erased for some reason. As you can see, when I try to launch it, it says the path doesn't exist. When I go back to the GitHub client, I can go ahead and clone again. I press that button and all of my files are back to where they were. I can reopen the project now. Go into my scenes, select the sample scene, and the cube is back up, just the way we left it. Let's do another scenario. This time, let's pretend that we never had a project. We're a new collaborator coming on. We're going to click on code. We're going to open it with GitHub Desktop. We're going to give it a new folder to clone into. Now we're going to open up Unity Hub, add a new project, select the folder, open it, open our scenes again, sample scene and we should be up and running and ready to work on a project. This is just scratching the surface of what Git is capable of. You can revert to a previous revision of your code base, create multiple feature branches and some way more complex things. The next steps would be to try and use Git from the command line and learn about it some more. But this should be more than enough to get you started on the right track. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are working on some new projects and we're super excited to share them with you.